Welcome back, good day viewers. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday morning. Okay, so we know this. Most of us have been washing our hands non-stop. And is it feeling drier? Mine definitely are. Um, well, Dr. Tangeti here, he is a dermatologist here in the Sacramento region. He's gonna talk to us a little bit about why it's important to keep your hands moisturized and the signs that you need to see where you're, you'll notice that your hands um, or your body may be feeling dry. So good morning to you, Dr. Tangeti. how are you? Good morning, we're well. But again, what happens here is the back of the hands get, get the most irritated, the skin's a little thinner, and we don't necessarily always rinse. So rinsing after your washing is a very, very important thing to do. If you leave soap residue on your hands in between the fingers, it can cause irritation. Cracking, the cracking sometimes can lead to openings, bacteria, maybe the virus can get in. So it's better to maintain the barrier function of your skin. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of products we can do it. If you, the, the most basics are what we call occlusive agents like petrolatum or Vaseline, very simple. Mm -hmm. Others are less greasy. So what we want to do is get something, this is Neutrogena hand cream, you could put it on and then you can just rub it in. You don't need a lot, you just rub it on all sides. You go in between the fingers, you go back and forth. And then if, if, if after you put it on it's a little too greasy for you to, to function, just get a little paper towel, take the excess off. Mm -hmm and you're good to go. And then you've actually protected your hands. And, and again, it's a much better barrier. So again, many products out there. The trick is get the heavier products. The cream formulations are better. Specifically, if it says hand cream, better formulated. Mm -hmm. There's even products like Aquaphor or Vaseline that could work. So again, lubricate. If it's too greasy, take the excess off and then go about your business. Again, hand washing is key to prevent uh, issues from uh, you know, spreading the virus to your face or anywhere else if you touch. Yeah, and here's the thing too, we've been seeing our, our field crew is now wearing masks. So, you know, we're being asked, especially for out in public where there's a lot of people to wear these masks. Um, but we were talking a little bit earlier it might be more difficult to recycle these masks than we think. Yeah, I, I think that these masks, they're, they're valuable. So you could even make them on your own. Go online, there's ways you can make your own masks. Mm -hmm. One good trick would be to have three or four to five of them, put them in a plastic bag, label them one, two, three, four, five, and then cycle them. Don't close the plastic bag so the air gets in there and then use them one day and then recycle them because these things are in short supply. The idea is if you have a mask on, you'll prevent some of the saliva droplets uh, from spreading to other people. And again, I think when we're talking here, we're, we're not gonna be shedding saliva dry, droplets on each other. It protects you, it protects me, and I think we're all gonna be better off if we wear these masks. Yes, and, and again, just remember that they are scarce of these masks, so if you do not need them, just make one on your own, um, or you know, buy, I, I feel like a lot of people have been using the handkerchiefs as masks, um, just anything, you know, to block that off because we we have to put our doctors and nurses or medical personnel first. They're the ones on the front lines. I'll toss it back to you all. I got to moisturize my hands now. Yeah. Mine are <laughs> so dry. dry. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much.